Aztec gold, digital pesos, and a shopping spree that tells a thousand tales. Dive deep into Mexico's money maze and discover a world where every peso has a story. Today, we're embarking on a fascinating journey into the heart of Mexico's financial landscape. If you've ever found yourself daydreaming about the vibrant streets of Mexico City or the serene beaches of Cancun, you've probably also wondered about the colorful currency that fuels this incredible nation. That's right. We're talking about the Mexican peso, and by the end of this video, you'll be a mini expert on all things related to money in Mexico. Hola, Miguel. Hola. Now, before we dive into the nitty gritty details, Let's take a moment to appreciate the rich tapestry of history that's intertwined with Mexico's currency. Imagine, for a moment, ancient civilizations trading goods, the rise and fall of empires, and the evolution of a nation's economy. All of these events have left their mark on the money we see today. And if you're gearing up for a trip to Mexico, or just curious about international finance, understanding the peso is your golden ticket to navigating the country like a pro. So what exactly is the Mexican peso? Well, it's the official currency of Mexico, represented by this symbol and the code MXN. But here's a fun fact. Did you know that the word peso originally meant weight in Spanish? It was used to refer to gold or silver coins with a specific weight. Over time, it evolved into the name of the currency we know today. Now, if you've ever held a Mexican peso note in your hand, you've probably marveled at its vibrant colors and intricate designs. Each note tells a story, featuring iconic figures from Mexico's history, from ancient Aztec rulers to revolutionary heroes. It's not just money. It's a piece of art that carries the soul of a nation. But let's rewind a bit. The history of the Mexican peso is as colorful as the notes themselves. The origins of the peso can be traced back to the Spanish dollar, which was widely used in the Americas during the colonial period. Over the centuries, the peso underwent various transformations, from being minted in silver to adopting a decimal system. Today, it stands as a testament to Mexico's resilience and adaptability in the face of economic challenges. Speaking of challenges, if you're a traveler or a business person, you know that currency exchange rates can be a bit of a roller coaster. And when it comes to the Mexican peso, it's no different. The exchange rate between the peso and other major currencies like the US dollar or the euro fluctuates based on various factors, from global economic trends to domestic policies. So if you're planning to visit Mexico or do business there, keeping an eye on these rates is crucial. Mexico, they've got muchas, muchachas, amigos. Now for those of you who love a good story, here's a little anecdote. Back in the day, the Spanish dollar, which was the precursor to the Mexican peso, was widely used in many parts of the world, including the United States. In fact, the famous S with a line through its symbol that we associate with the US dollar today was originally used for the Spanish dollar. Over time, as the US developed its own currency, the symbol was adopted for the dollar. But its origins lie in the historic ties between Spain, Mexico, and the US. All right, let's shift gears a bit and talk about modern day banking in Mexico. If you've ever walked the streets of any major Mexican city, you've probably seen a plethora of banks. From global giants like HSBC and Citibank to local powerhouses like Banamex and Banorte. These banks play a pivotal role in Mexico's economy, offering a range of services from personal savings accounts to business loans. And with the rise of digital banking, many of these institutions are now at the forefront of financial technology, making banking in Mexico a seamless experience. But here's a pro tip for all you travelers out there. While credit and debit cards are widely accepted in urban areas, it's always a good idea to carry some cash, especially if you're venturing into rural regions or local markets. And when it comes to withdrawing money, ATMs are your best bet. They're abundant and offer competitive exchange rates. Just be mindful of any transaction fees, especially if you're using an international card. We've covered a lot of ground, but bear with me. We're about to delve into one of the most intriguing aspects of Mexico's financial landscape. Remittances. For those unfamiliar with the term, remittances refer to money sent by migrants to their home countries. And in the case of Mexico, with a large diaspora spread across the globe, remittances play a significant role in the country's economy. In fact, they're one of the top sources of foreign income for Mexico, 
surpassing even oil exports. These funds, sent by hardworking individuals to support their families back home, are a lifeline for many communities, ensuring that basic needs are met and dreams are realized. Let's dive deeper into this phenomenon. Imagine being thousands of miles away from home, working tirelessly in a foreign land, and then sending a portion of your hard-earned money back to your loved ones. It's a gesture of love, sacrifice, and commitment. For many Mexican families, these remittances are not just about money, they're a symbol of hope and a promise of a better future. They're used to build homes, fund education, start businesses, and even support local community projects. In essence, they're a driving force behind grassroots development in many parts of Mexico. But here's something you might find surprising. The process of sending money has evolved dramatically over the years. Gone are the days when people had to rely solely on traditional banking channels or money transfer agents. Today, with the advent of digital technology, sending remittances has become faster, cheaper, and more accessible. Platforms like TransferWise, Remitly, and even PayPal have revolutionized the remittance landscape, ensuring that money reaches its destination safely and efficiently. Now while we're on the topic of modern financial practices, let's talk about something that's been making waves globally. Digital currencies and fintech. Mexico, with its vibrant tech scene and forward-thinking policies, has emerged as a hub for fintech innovation in Latin America. From mobile wallets and peer-to-peer -peer lending platforms to cryptocurrency exchanges, the Mexican fintech ecosystem is buzzing with activity. And the government, recognizing the potential of this sector, has introduced regulations to ensure that these innovations benefit the masses while maintaining financial stability. But what does this mean for the average Juan or Maria in Mexico? Well, it means more choices, better services, and greater financial inclusion. Imagine being able to open a bank account, apply for a loan, or even invest in stocks, all from the comfort of your home, using just your smartphone. That's the power of fintech, and it's transforming the way Mexicans manage their money. Now, let's shift our focus to something that's close to the heart of many Mexicans. Shopping. Whether it's the bustling markets of Guadalajara or the chic boutiques of Polanco, shopping in Mexico is an experience like no other. And when it comes to payment methods, there's a plethora of options to choose from. While cash remains king in many places, digital payments are gaining traction, especially among the younger generation. QR codes, contactless cards, and mobile wallets are becoming increasingly popular, making transactions swift and hassle-free. But here's a little nugget of wisdom for all you shopaholics out there. Always be mindful of the exchange rates and transaction fees, especially if you're using a foreign card. And if you're looking for some authentic Mexican souvenirs, don't hesitate to haggle a bit. After all, it's all part of the fun. Money, in all its forms, is more than just a medium of exchange. It's a reflection of a nation's history, culture, and aspirations. From the ancient coins of the Aztecs to the digital currencies of today, the story of money in Mexico is a testament to the country's resilience, innovation, and spirit. So the next time you find yourself sipping on a margarita by the beach or exploring the ruins of Teotihuacan, take a moment to appreciate the rich tapestry of experiences that Mexico has to offer. And remember, whether you're spending pesos, sending remittances, or exploring the world of fintech, you're not just engaging in a financial transaction. You're becoming a part of Mexico's incredible journey.